time because outside right now, that cool air, we got the showers that are moving their way on through, or at least trying to move in here over the next hour or two. That's all off to the west. The heaviest of it is still over Lake Michigan. That's going to swing its way on in here over the next few hours, and especially late this evening past sunset. Temps tomorrow, we got the upper 60s. It feels cool. We've got the rain as well to start the day. But you'll notice most of us are staying definitely below that 70 mark. Now, I know there's some miles of some suggestion that say that we could make it there. At this point, it doesn't really even matter because you've got the cloud cover. You've got the cooler setup. It's not going to feel like it's 70 anyway. Feeling like it's in the upper 60s, that's where we're going to be, and that's where we will be at. Now, continuing all the way, basically right down 96 all the way to 696 here, upper 60s, 69 in Warren, 68 Sterling Heights, Milford at 65, right downtown there. You got the extra cooler air all the way up to the north, right around 65 for everybody in northern St. Clair, Lapeer, and Sanilac counties. Now, showers are more likely to continue for more of the day in the thumb, especially as you get closer to Sandusky. But the rest of the area, especially going into tonight, you can see the front itself moves its way through. A couple of heavier showers, but very low on any type of thunder potential. More than likely, it's going to be just falling rain. That's what we've got. And it's a cooler setup on the other side. That cold front swings its way out. We're left with cloud cover tomorrow, breaking apart later in the day, leading us into a Wednesday, where some partly to mostly cloudy skies are really going to hold. But we're dry on Wednesday. We're cooler, but we're dry. On Thursday, beautiful weather builds back on in, and that leaves us right here. The next weather forecast here for the next extended seven days leaves us with those 60s right on the money. Wednesday and Thursday, mid-60s at best. Going into Wednesday, mid to upper 60s on Thursday. Lows are in the 40s each of those nights, so we've definitely got some cooler air to work with. That is a little bit below average. Those are a little below. Upper 60s to low 70s is our average high right now. Now we continue to warm up a little bit more for above average temps on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And then we go back down for the start of next week after a little rain on Sunday night. But a point of note with that, Hurricane Lee, which has been big in the Atlantic, is going to swing its way up and potentially along the very northeastern portion of the U.S. toward Newfoundland by the end of the weekend. What that can do is you've got an aerial low pressure in the way. So we could either have the beautiful sunshine extended or the rain extended, depending on where the remnants of Lee line up. It's kind of like a big old brick wall. We've seen this already before several different times with different storm systems. So if it does decide to move its way along that northeast coast from Boston northward, if it's there on Sunday, then we might have rain a little longer. If it's there closer to Saturday, we get rid of the rain on time and we clear up to start next week. All right. I'm hoping for the latter. Yeah. <laughs> that so sounds it, nice. It's weird that we're going to have to really track a tropical system to know what we are going to have to deal with, but yeah. we'll be ready for it. Well, good thing the Lions play inside. There you on go. Sunday.